at that time. So it was like, it, but it just made me feel better. It made me, at that time, all it really was for me was kind of making me feel better. I would drive home and think, well, I do have these things. Uh, they're out there. I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. There really is an art to being a little delulu, a little delusional, okay? It's a skill not everybody possesses. If you are so talented as to have this skill, then you might as well use it to your advantage. We hear being delulu a lot in a negative context. On the contrary, there are many times that being delulu can be quite useful. Being delulu can help bring you closer to a reality that seems quite far out of reach. Maybe it could be a superpower of sorts. Obviously, we know I've been becoming a little bit of a Pilates girly. Today, we're doing yoga and hot Pilates fusion. This dog here all over me. I love a good group workout. It's hard to motivate yourself sometimes. Like, really, the only workout I do on my own is just cardio. It's just so much more motivating, and it makes me be able to go harder. Like, I have more energy when I'm in a room with a bunch of other people, and I'm a very competitive person. I like to see how everyone else is doing and then do better. You know what I mean? So, anyways. This is my gym fit. Leggings are Nike. Top is Aritzia. Bra is Aritzia. Shoes are New Balance. Gym bag is so cute. It's a Paloma wool tote that I got at the pop-up. <laughs> Good morning. It is very early. I have my coffee. There's no other time, it seems, that you can tap into this part of your brain than in the early morning. It's time to get into the Delulu. It's time to get into it. You have to fully immerse yourself. So what I like to do is I'll come outside, sit down with my journal. This is not a revolutionary method, I don't feel like, and I'm not taking credit for this method at all. If you feel like you have a very big something that you want to achieve or attract and it feels like there is a great, great divide between where you currently are and where you want to be to get this thing. Journaling is going to help you bridge the gap between this current self and then this ideal self that you're striving towards. What's so crazy about the Delulu is that it's accessible at any time. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. So you're going to sit down with your journal, start writing from the perspective of where you want to be because what you're doing is you're already putting your brain into that mindset that you already have what it is that you want you've already achieved what you want to achieve you start to feel like you've done it which is totally delusional because you have it and you're really in the exact same position but you're not because now it's activated in your mind and something that's crazy about our brains they love to be right so your brain is constantly looking for ways to confirm what it believes to be true so you could go one path, you could be very far from where you want to be, and every day, without being Delulu, you're just continuing straight on in reality, and you're giving your brain no space to believe that anything else might possibly be true. Because every day you're reinforcing that your reality is the truth, and that it's the only truth, and that it's not going to change. Or, there's another path where you could be absolutely delusional, like absolutely delusional. You sit down, you just totally take on an entirely new identity that is not currently real, not currently happening and it comes completely from your imagination like there's no right or wrong you can literally write whatever you want you can have as much fun with it as you want slowly but surely and it takes time but i would argue that if you really pay attention it actually is pretty quick you will notice throughout the day your brain spits out a little nugget of the thing that you imagined because now you've put this idea into your head that this could be true and so your brain throughout the day is like okay let's test this like let's see if it could be true so ultimately your brain is in your head you know what i'm saying you own your brain you're not your brain. You own your brain. Your brain is your tool, your organ. It's there to benefit you. Your desired outcome is accessible at any moment of the day, any second of the day. You can go in your mind to where you want to be. I have been really wanting a fruit matcha, like a, well, we all know I'm on my strawberry matcha kick. I saw something somewhere of someone making their own homemade mango matcha, and I've also never had a mango matcha, like, made for me, so I was like, hmm, could be interesting to make on my own, but I don't have any mangoes right now. I thought I had strawberries, so I was gonna make a strawberry matcha on my own, but I had no strawberries, so I did have blueberries. I made this puree. It's kind of a syrup, kind of not. It thickened up more than I thought. It's almost like a 
like a jelly. Like look how thick it is. Isn't that not what you would expect? I think we're in business. I mixed up my matcha in this bowl. Done. Considering that it has not gone wrong so far at the blueberries, I'm thinking if there's gonna be any hiccups, it's gonna be because of this oat milk. I just feel like this drink would be best with a very thick milk. And all I have right now is the super basic kind, which literally just has four ingredients and it's very watery. We'll see. Okay, let's try this. Moment of truth. Ready? Oh my God, okay. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna stir it up. Look at it. It's gorgeous. This is proof it is so easy to make things. This took me combined, like if I wasn't talking and yapping this whole time, probably would have taken me a good 10 minutes. Hello? This would be like $15 at a cafe. morning today's delusion is that i'm really missing my bagel place in new york and i haven't had a bagel in months i just woke up really wanting a bagel there was this one place that i keep seeing over and over and i've seen other people give it good reviews so i'm like it's worth a shot i'm gonna go out on a limb expect it to be as good as new york or better we'll see what happens my hopes are pretty high we're gonna believe that it's gonna be fire okay let's go moment of truth it's crazy because my delulu almost worked i was this close to deluluing myself into the bagel that i always would get in new york which was a garlic bagel no a garlic and onion bagel with sun-dried tomato cream cheese and i walked in and on the board they had sun-dried tomato and basil cream cheese and they also had garlic bagels and i was like yes like this is literally perfect like this is exactly what i've been craving so i order it and he's like i don't have tomato and basil and i was like oh so instead, I got an Asiago cheese bagel and then just garlic cream cheese. Kind of similar vibes. Like, it's still like a savory vibe going on. Okay, whatever. Let's stop yapping and see what happens. Interesting. Great texture. The garlic cream cheese, though, was a little intense. I was a little worried that it would be this way. It's very garlicky. I'm probably gonna have to brush my teeth 50 times. I mean, hey, it halfway worked. I kind of did it. I really needed this, though, so I'm happy. I'll consider it a success. I have sun-dried tomatoes, so I low-key wonder if I could make my own sun-dried tomato cream cheese. Wait, I'm definitely trying that. Yeah. I've been waiting for over an hour now for this face mask to dry. Like if you can see where it's dry and where it's not. It's been too long, it, just, it looks ridiculous. I don't care. You know what time it is. Sketchbook time. Quick little Pinterest. Actually, I know I've saved a bunch of like simple things recently. This is perfect. This honestly looks like me right now, kind of. This is exactly what I need to do. I know I started out kind of talking a little bit overwhelmingly positive about the Delulu. Let me put this down so you can also see me drawing because otherwise it just feels like you don't know what's going on, you know what I mean? Okay, now you're included. Delusions that I've been really working to fight beyond just imagining an ideal scenario for myself because sometimes like an ideal scenario is not necessarily totally and completely changing your life. Sometimes an ideal scenario is becoming a more trusting person or becoming a more committed person becoming a more disciplined person. There was a point definitely within like the last year. I was in therapy, she was really helping me to see. I wanted to be a more trusting person. Whatever past experiences had led me to be a not very trusting person, I kind of had to just completely disregard. Once you disregard past as the past, you can't keep going back to it. You can't keep checking to see, is it still there? Is it gonna change? It has to be totally, completely out of your mind. You can't even remember what happened to you in the past. Like you're literally men in black, like you got wiped. That's how it has to be. It was very hard at first because it felt impossible. You know, I was trying to like manifest something that I had like really never personally experienced. So what I started doing was looking for the kind of experience that I wanted in other people without, this is very important, without feeling bad that it wasn't mine. I started to feel like 
these other people's experiences when I would observe them or notice them or see them out in public or something. I just started to think that at the very least, me being able to observe the positive thing that I wanted meant that I was getting closer and closer to it becoming my own because it was so close to me already in my field of awareness. And that was a very big shift for me in kind of practicing the Dilulu in everyday life. The journaling and the meditating is a foundation, a warm-up for you to go out and practice being that way. Anyways, I'm gonna keep drawing. It's been lovely chatting with you, as always. Let me know your Delulu journey if you're on one. I would love to hear about it. And I'll see you next time.